leftovers for breakfast kind of day. I'm so tired today. I'm, I'm dead. I'm exhausted. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas today's episode we are going to be talking all about skincare we're going to be going off on introducing korean skincare brands that you probably have never heard of or if you have that's amazing but most likely other people haven't these are brands that i've known about for a while and really just want to introduce to everyone and then talk about some recommendations depending on your skin type other than that it's going to be another day in the life vlog as well i am really exhausted from our day trip i don't know why it's like i have a two-day hangover from exploring i feel i feel like a child that goes on a field trip and like falls asleep on the bus and is just KO'd for the whole day after that, even though it's been like well over a day. But anyway, I had my soup for breakfast, then I took a bath, a midday bath, just because I'm so exhausted, showered, and literally like all my extensions fell out of my hair. It must be from that scalp treatment I used because I haven't used a scalp treatment with extensions in a long time and I guess it just made the glue come undone. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to redo that tonight. We are gonna go out and grab a coffee because I need coffee. It's about 2 p.m. now We need we need a coffee break. So let's go to a cute little cafe and grab a takeout coffee Come home and start talking about some some K-beauty skincare Latte. Ooh, no. Ooh. Okay, you guys, we are back from grabbing coffee. I have a vanilla latte here made with lactose free milk and half the sweetness. Mm. And y'all, lipstick all over it. <laughs> Wow, I am tired. I am tired, but I'm so happy that today is a nice, relaxing day just talking about skincare a little bit. And specifically for this video, we are talking about Korean skincare you haven't heard of before. At least I'm hoping you probably haven't heard of it before. Or am I hoping, or am I hoping that you did hear about it? Because these brands really deserve more awareness in the skincare community. So I'm going to be introducing a few brands to you guys. This is not sponsored at all. These are just literally products that I already own and have been using or am newly going to start using that just no, I've never heard of them before or I know of them, but I rarely ever see people talking about them in the skincare community and I just feel like they deserve more hype. The first one I'm going to mention is one that if you've been following me for many years, you might be familiar with this one. It is the brand 23 years old. They are a Korean skincare brand that I've known about for many, many years now and I just don't understand why they haven't really broken ground on a global market. They are really well known in Korea. You can find them in retail stores such as Olive Young, especially in, in South Korea. But for some reason, they just haven't made that global impact yet, which always blows my mind because I love their acid products, like some of the best exfoliating creams out there that don't completely destroy your skin, but you still get that amazing glycolic acid, softening, glowing experience without having to use it in a liquid form that can really dry out your skin. So most of their products I do own are my favorite acids from them. The Beta Castle is a classic for me. I've been using this product for many years. They changed the packaging here and there, but it still delivers the exact same bomb, amazing exfoliating, like gentle peel results. If you want to like fade acne scars really, really fast, these are the products to try out. Again, this is the brand 23 years old. It's such a nice cream texture that helps bypass those negative side effects that you can get from using acids really hydrating really moisturizing but still like you wake up and your skin is glowing like your skin is noticeably more improved 
Who do I recommend 23 years old to? Really anyone that's looking for great peeling solutions and exfoliants that are going to be a little more gentle on the skin but still extremely functional. The next brand that I want to introduce you to you guys is one that I sell on my store glowatelier.com. I handpicked to sell this product in this range of products because nobody is talking about them and I love their products. This is the Abib Heartleaf Sun Essence Calming Drop. It is a liquid SPF. So good for oily skin types, normal to combination skin types, or in the summertime if you just need something a little more lightweight but still gonna give you that SPF 50 protection that you want and crave. I absolutely die for this liquid dropper formula. It is just the most convenient to finish off your skincare routine in the morning and follow up with makeup. I'm obsessed with it and not enough people are talking about it in the skincare community, which is why I wanted to bring it on to Glow Atelier. Again, from Abib, they have so many amazing products, but one of them that I want to give a shout out to that, again, nobody's talking about their creams. They have some of the most lovely hydrating and balancing creams. This is the Hydration Cream Water Tube. It is literally a cream that melts on your skin and just becomes this beautiful watery texture. Like super hydrating, but still moisturizing at the same time. So if you're a dehydrated to dry skin type or a normal dehydrated skin type, this is a lovely one to add into your routine as well. If you're an oilier skin type, you might be able to get away with it as well just because it has a lot of niacinamide in there. So niacinamide will help balance that oil production in the skin. So don't be too afraid to try a cream-based product because it usually will have ingredients in there that might cater towards an oily skin type. So that niacinamide in there is really going to help balance out the oil production in an oily skin type, help pore control and help unclog those pores while giving a brightening effect to the skin. And it just like, it's just lovely. Plus this brand is cruelty free as well. I asked the distributor and they confirmed with me that they are cruelty free. Really just a lovely hydrating product. Again, you can get the Abib brand on my store Glow Atelier. Another brand I want to talk about that I am starting to see gain a little more traction in the global market is the Korean skincare brand Sum By Me. I've been using their products all year. It's been over a year actually now that I've been using their products and I love them. And why I love them is that it's almost a brand that caters to a layering skincare routine. A lot of their products are really lightweight and kind of more so on the gel based side so they're not going to be really heavy on their own but they blend so well together that you can just really hit off that 10-step Korean skincare routine no problem with their brand. One of the products that I love more so in the summertime is the Yuja Niacin Blemish Care Serum. It's another niacinamide based serum but it also has vitamin C in there from Yuja Extract. So you're still going to get those benefits from vitamin C such as stimulating collagen and brightening the skin while also having those oil controlling benefits with this one. However, it's definitely not the most ideal for people with a drier skin type it can be a little too too drying on the skin but in the summertime i loved using this one aside from that i already have an empty i have to do a whole empties video because i have so many empties but i have burned through their snail true sicka miracle repair serum this is a snail based serum and it's just the perfect snail serum that's extremely hydrating so it's not going to make you feel sticky it's not going to make you feel heavy and it gives you all that skin cell repairing benefits that snail mucin offers without clogging the pores or feeling heavy on the skin and blends amazing with other products i also burned through the cream version of it and even though it says it's a cream it's more of a gel texture again so you can really layer it and get the best of all those products. Additionally from Sun By Me, I also used their hair loss tonic and burned through that as well. I no longer have it because I, I used it all a long time ago, but I loved it as well. Here's another Korean skincare brand that I know not many people know about, which is one of the brands I wanted to bring on to Glow Atelier because I'm obsessed with their products. It is the brand Nacific. I have quite a few products that I sell from them because I truly believe 
in their products and to feel like more people need to appreciate and enjoy them for what they are. They have such a wide variety of offering anti-aging, natural-based products that are cruelty-free that target literally every skin condition. And it's like you could literally have an entire skincare routine morning and night for every season of the year with just using the Cific products. I'm obsessed with them. One of the products that I really think deserves more hype, I love my acids when they come in a cream or gel form. This is the Nacific Pink AHA BHA Cream. It's a nice gentle exfoliant acid gel for people with textured skin and oily skin and acne without drying out the skin too much which again is why I love, love cream gel based acids because you're not gonna wake up that next morning and have your face peeling and turning into powder on you. Like my God, when I use some acids, you guys, my retinols, my gosh, like I've been using this L'Oreal Paris retinol. I wake up in the morning and I'm just powder. Like my whole face is just like dusting away. It's so drying out. <laughs> but when you use an acid that comes in such a hydrating formula, it really helps to combat those negative side effects that you can get from using an acid. Plus this one has cactus flower extract. Does it have cactus flower? Either way, it has super hydrating factors in there to really help rehydrate your skin while the acid does its work to help smooth out rough skin texture, to help fight against oily skin, to unclog those pores and really just solve everything. Plus it's a dual acid cream. So you're getting the benefits of AHA for the surface textural issues and discolorations. Then you're getting those benefits from BHA, which help to target deeper into the skin to lift all that gunk out to the surface, helping with people that have more of those deeper clogged pores like me. Oh my God, my skin's so congested, you guys. I need BHA all the time. Aside from that, they also have calming and soothing ingredients that source a lot of the ingredients from nature. Specifically, the Fresh Sick Clear Plus Serum. I love it. It is just a super, super concentrated, calming and soothing gel-ish serum. That's really lightweight, so even if you have an oily skin type, you can get away with using these. Really catering to anybody that helps to calm inflammation in the skin. So if you suffer from acne, you want to use those products that have anti-inflammatory benefits to help soothe that inflammation in those pimples, let them go flat, let them calm down so that the healing ingredients in the products can work their magic to fight against the acne causing bacteria. Again, Nacific is a brand that I really do love and a Korean skincare brand that I feel like deserves more recognition in the skincare community. <laughs> Speaking of deserving recognition in the global skincare community, another brand that I really don't see anybody ever talking about is the brand Mool Dream Soul. This is a vegan cruelty-free skincare brand from Korea that really focuses on deeply hydrating the skin. Like every single product I've used from them is so hydrating, but a little less on the moisturizing side in my opinion, but they just feel so good on the skin. You can actually find their products in Canada at some winners, sometimes if you're looking carefully, but I really love their stuff and I just don't I just don't know why people aren't talking about them. Like it is just so hydrating and plumping. Really just a beautiful brand, beautiful vegan skincare brand from Korea for adding hydration into people with really dehydrated skin types. Speaking of hydrating skincare brands from Korea, another brand I don't see talked about too often, but is a Olive Young brand that you can find in Korea and on the global website is the brand The Lab. Now, you really don't see too many people talking about this, and I believe it's because they don't have a huge wide range of skincare products just yet, but they are a brand that really focuses on delivering gentle formulations for people with more dehydrated sensitive skin. This product in particular is their Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Calming Plus Cream. Now I wouldn't say it is super moisturizing, like when it's my, my really dry, dry skin days, I feel like this isn't enough for me. But if it's like the summertime and I just need something that's really going to help pull that water into my skin, this is a lovely cream to include in my routine. In the winter time though, if you are planning to use products that 
focus on multiple forms of hyaluronic acid, you do need to make sure you're pairing it with a super hydrating natural skincare product such as aloe vera so that that hyaluronic acid can pull water into your skin from something that has moisture in it. The next Korean skincare brand that I want to talk about is one that's been around for a while, but I don't see as much hype for it as I feel like they should have. You may be familiar with the brand April Skin, and you might be familiar with them for their makeup, specifically their cushion products, but they have a ton of skincare, you guys. They have so many skincare products, and honestly, a year ago, I didn't even know they had this many skincare products until they reached out to me and wanted to work together and gift some of them to me. And I was like, yeah, I didn't even know you guys did skincare products. I thought you were like strictly just like cushion and high coverage foundation, but no, they broke into the skincare market, I don't know, when but they have so many options and i actually genuinely have been enjoying them over the past year this is the april skin artemisia rice essence toner i haven't been using this one in particular as you can tell by how full it is but i have been using the cream in this exact line and i really really like it doesn't irritate my skin it's super hydrating and calming it could be more moisturizing for my extremely dry skin type but it is a lovely product plus they are hundred percent vegan and cruelty free I don't know if every single product from their range is but it's always comforting to know that aside from that one of their products I have been loving over the past year is the April skin real calendula PHA hyaluronic acid peeling gel I love peeling gels me and my sensitive skin we always dry we always got dry skin flakes my skin loves using a peeling gel just to get all those all that powderiness off when I'm really having a bout of dry skin. This is a fun one to use. Now, I know peeling gels can be a little controversial because like, if all those crumbs coming off, is that really your skin or is it just the product? But my skin genuinely always feels really soft and I have noticeably less dry skin chunks after using it. So it's just really, really nice. I feel like this has been around for a long time, to be honest, and see all the little crumbs. That's mostly from the product, but it does help to get off those excess dead skin cells, which is really lovely as well. They have so many, so many skincare products, you guys. It's really worth giving April Skin a shot in terms of their actual skincare and not just their makeup, but their makeup's also pretty good as well. And the last Korean skincare brand that I want to mention to you guys that you may or may not know about is one that is newer to me. I had no idea they existed. It is the brand Numbazin. Numbazin? Numbazin? Really odd name. Not too sure how I pronounce it. But it is a Korean skincare brand that focuses on creating skincare products in a numbered base system to make it easier to create a skincare routine for yourself. They have so many products that cater to every single skin condition and concern, which I find super, super interesting. I'm actually gonna have a video kind of more so dedicated to these products just because I'm really excited to introduce them to you guys. But they have so, so many products that just make it really easy to start a Korean skincare routine. For example, here we have the number three, number three from the Numbazin, 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 Super Glowing Essence, which is a really thick essence for the skin that is so, 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 so hydrating and smooth. Ooh, and it smells that nice herbal aromatherapy type of scent. Mm, I recently just started testing out that essence and I've really been enjoying it for adding that hydration to my skin. Aside from that, I've also recently started testing out the Numbazin Serum Deep Sleep Mask number six in the routine. This is a sleeping serum to go on the skin that helps to just kind of add that rich hydration back into the skin to help you glow in the morning. Really just lovely, lovely products. And I love the packaging. It's like that frost glass, just beautiful. What makes this brand in Korea unique is that it is that numbered based system and they really focus on delivering those ingredients to cater towards specific skin conditions. So you can shop the products based on skin conditions and in the numbered system to make it just super easy for you. And I believe that, that is it for all the brands that I personally own that I feel like nobody else, nobody else really knows about. Let me know in the comment section down below, you guys, 
What brands that I mentioned today did you already know about? Or how many of them did you not know about? Let me know what number and any specific brand names you were already familiar with and super curious about. I would love to know, love to know what you guys know about the skincare community in terms of new, upcoming, or not so much talked about Korean skincare brands. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Vlogmas. This was like a half partial vlog meets beauty skincare vlog. Tomorrow in the next episode, we are going to be going to a wedding. If that sounds like something you're super interested in seeing, then definitely make sure to tune in tomorrow for a vlog, vlogmas episode at a wedding. I am going to relax for the rest of today. I am so tired and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day as well. Bye!